Death cannot destroy you. I have preserved your beauty for the ages. I thought you said she was dead. Welcome to Cold Hands Host with Monica Torres. And welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me in my prep room today. I've got a lot of messages in my DMs and people have been calling me to address the coronavirus and what we as embalmers can do to protect ourselves in the prep room. And so I figured what would be best would just be to share the information that I've gotten from our national organization. And you can see here in the back, I have posted, uh, printed out the recommendations by the CDC and I've put that up in my prep room. So I hope that maybe that helps you. You can print them out and put them up in your prep room as well. But I've also printed out the sequence for putting on and taking off our personal protection items. And that's what I'm gonna cover today. I'm gonna kind of go through that with you. So I'm gonna start first with the, the gown, which is the first recommendation by the CDC. They're recommending that we use these disposable gowns. And our mask or respirator is gonna be the next step. Now, whatever you use in your prep room is all, you know, personal preference. I prefer to use my full face respirator. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use a face mask with a shield. And I will show you that there are three different options. There's the, the half face, the face with the shield, and then your full face respirator. So, they're recommending that we put our respirator, our full, full face shield on. So I'm going to show you how to put that on. After you put on your mask, you're going to move forward to your gloves. And they're recommending that we use nitrile gloves and medical grade gloves. So make sure that whatever gloves that you're using are the proper type of glove and that they're medical grade. If you need to double glove, they're also recommending that too if you have a fear of puncture or pricking. So I would like to go a step further and just for practical purposes, I like to wear this apron as well. We know as professionals it can get a little messy in there and sometimes it's nice to just have a little backup. So I put this on, this apron, and you can see here as well. And with my respirator or my mask, I'm fully donned with all of my PPEs. So I hope this has been really helpful for you. Now, I have this little instructional here that I have printed off from the CDC, and, but they're giving us two examples for taking off PPEs. So you can choose whichever one you want. I personally like the just the really simple number one gown and gloves together. That way you can take everything off at the same time. And the second step is to take off your goggles or face shield. And I'll step back so you can see here. But you wanna make sure that you're not contaminating underneath. So grab, a, grab an area where you know that you're not gonna be contaminated. You pull it off all together. Gloves and gown all in the same Okay, so that you're not touching any of the contaminated portion of the gown. And this is gonna go right into your biohazard, okay? Well, I hope that my tips have been helpful for you. We don't know, you know, all of the facts about this particular illness and how people are transmitting it. It's just, we don't have all the facts yet. So the best thing that you can do in your prep room is to use universal precautions. I would definitely recommend for removal specialists um, and funeral directors that are going on removals to make sure to take precautions when you're there with the family. If, you, if you're picking someone up that has died from the coronavirus, that means that typically the family has also been exposed. So use universe precautions, use common sense, and you know, be safe, stay healthy, and join me next time here in my prep room at Cold Hands Hosts.